entertainment needs under one roof. Pickwick and Frolic. And uh, Stephanie Reed, just a freshman, came up big. Uh, she's from Australia. We'll talk about her a lot. Of course, Christian Sharkey, second team All-Mac player. And Krista Backus was the Mac Defensive Player of the Year for the Bulls. Under that lady, Felicia Leggett-Jack, they are looking for their first ever MAC Tournament Championship and NCAA appearance. She's a very good coach, has them headed in the right direction. Third year head coach here at Buffalo, the Bulls, one of the favorites coming in. They are the fourth seed. Let's take a look at how the Bobcats line up. They are the top seed in this. They have won 15 of their last 16 games. Here's how they look. Kate Yell. Mariah Byard, she was a honorable mention, all Mid-American Conference selection. Kira Lampkins, a third team all-max selection. And that guy, Bacchus. Lexi Baldwin against Bacchus. And it's controlled by the Bulls. The point guard, a freshman from Australia, Stephanie Reed. And not just a freshman, but a young lady that just joined the team. She was a high school student athlete through November and joined the team just after the first of the year, and they've really found a great rhythm since she's been a part of their program. Whistle for the traveling violation there. She hit a big three yesterday and uh, was all smiles. And that could be an understatement. I think she only had six coming into the game, and... Came around the corner and just without hesitation knocked it down and really, really the just deciding basket for them down the stretch. Nice rotation as uh, the Bobcats move the ball. That's Kiana Black off the mark, out of bounds. It will be Buffalo basketball. I mentioned Black, first team all max selection, and really uh, Buffalo's coach Felicia Liga Jackson, in her mind, she could have very easily been the Mac player of the year. That, of course, went to Santa Cruz. Well, she's got a couple different dimensions to her game, which makes her very effective. She's not just a catch and release shooter like we just saw. She has the ability to put it on the floor, but looking for the long ball to get things started, and that could really stretch this Buffalo team that wants to pack it in and play physical. Kristen Sharkey announces her presence. She hits the three. Three points. Well, one of the things that Buffalo did so well yesterday was get Sharkey involved early on every possession. She had touches in about the first five or six series that really established their inside physical game. Shot by Smith is off the mark. In Ohio, out and running. They're tough in transition. Lampkins puts it in. Sierra Lampkins. Sierra Lampkins. And this is an area, too, that we're going to have to really watch as the game progresses. Buffalo, a couple different times, has really had to find a way to find some energy. And for an Ohio team that's really going to push, especially off the miss, transition game is going to be crucial. Yell brings it into the full court. They swing it out. Three pointers off the mark by Byers. Three-pointer again off the mark that time by Yell, and Buffalo now will push. There's Sharkey. A lot of attention. Nice move underneath. He can't convert it. And we get an offensive foul whistle against Backus. Well, number 44, Krista Bacchus. The first... First. first on Bacchus, first on the Bulls. Ohio There's a substitution. Anna Bosinger will give Lampkins a, a breather. And Bosinger, one of the sophomores, and the only player that had originally committed to Youngstown State where Bob Bolden was the head coach, and then when he made the transition and accepted the position at Ohio, she decided to come with him and fits exceptionally well into this system of spreading the floor and shooting the long ball. Good defense again by the Bulls as they knock it off an Ohio player. If you look at Bob Bolton, we mentioned the uh, coach of the year really has this program uh, headed in the right direction. They're young, too. Well, without question, this is a position that Ohio hasn't been in. And I, I think we saw 20 years. Yeah. So this is uh, certainly a, a quick turnaround for them and no success. I've known Bob for a lot of years and had the chance to work with him at, at Akron and He's got an incredible basketball mind, and it's, it's shown here early in his career at Ohio. Reed puts it in with the shot clock running down. The freshman 
just <laughs> doesn't feel any pressure. I could have listened to her talk in that press conference all day yesterday. She's got that Australian accent and just kind of a happy-go-lucky kid. And really, you kind of wonder if pressure's starting to mount, and I don't think she has any idea about it. Good She's playing loose, and Buffalo oh, is on a roll. Good look that time as he gets the assist. It's finished off by Malone. Three-pointer. Knocked down. Fired. And it's kind of interesting. All of the Bobcats shoot between 35 and 38 percent from three-pointer. Well, that's a staple to their game. They're really going to spread the floor out. And you've got to be able to shoot the long ball if you're going to play for Bob Bolton. Two-point leads for the Bulls with the basketball. Inside of 10 on the shot clock. Sharky, good look to Malone on the weak side. Can't finish. Good look there by Sharky. And you can see every possession here where they've slowed it down and gotten her a touch inside. Ohio's sending at least two bodies at her to really try and force the ball out of her hands. Nice job inside by Hannah Bosinger. Tied at seven. She goes inside out. She can hit the three-pointer as well. The sixth person for the Bobcats. Reed waiting for uh, Sharkey. She's open. Off the back of the iron, but it's run down by the Bulls. And now Reed will reset it. Good job there of attacking the offensive glass by Juliana Smith. And one of those under-the-radar players. The stats don't necessarily jump off the page, but she's very integral piece to this Buffalo team. That one's thrown away. The turnover the floor. We'll give the ball back to Ohio. We are tied at seven. It's Mid-American Conference semifinal. Where? Glad you joined us. MAC Tournament semifinal action. The top seed, Ohio, tied with the four seed, Buffalo. And everything pretty even. There's uh, the field goal percentage, rebounds, all even. Indicative of our high score. Outside three-pointer off the back of the iron. Sharkey. Draws the foul, good position inside by Kristen Sharkey. She does so many things well on the inside. She's a physically sound and fundamentally sound player. Did a good job of establishing position and going up and coming down with the rebound. Mackenzie Lotzen checks in for Buffalo. They go inside to Sharkey. Fighting inside on the baseline, out of bounds. It will be Ohio basketball. Good. Yeah, you, you said they were physical. That's how they play. That's just it. And I love the no call here. Defense is established, but she didn't barrel through. She was just turning to to go straight up with it. And at this point, let the players play. And she did a good job of extending to go up to score, but just couldn't come down with the basket. Yamani Jenkins in the lineup for the Ohio Bobcats. Three-pointer off the front of the rim. It won't go down for Byers. And Ohio just one for six now from behind the three-point line. And I think, what, six of their nine attempts so far have been from long range, which is not a surprise, but a good sign for Buffalo sitting back in that 2-3 zone. Kristen Sharkey off the front of the iron. Rebound won't go for Joanna Smith. She runs down the loose ball, though, and Buffalo maintains possession. Fresh shot clock. Well, one of the keys to the game we just talked about, attacking the glass for Buffalo, and they're doing a nice job of keeping the possession alive by coming down with some offensive rebounds. Witherspoon with the steal. Jasmine Witherspoon, who's checked into the lineup. And yes, it is J.D. Witherspoon's sister. Off the mark, the three-pointer by Baird. And in transition, Lothian pushing it. She won't get it to go. Ohio comes away. Now, this is how Ohio likes to play. Open court. Scoop shot. Won't go. Bacchus rips down the rebound. And uh, Felicia Liggett Jackson slow down a little bit. Yeah, and that's exactly what Buffalo wants to do. We've got kind of two different styles here. And Ohio, while they're not coming away with points, they're getting out in the open floor will really over time try and wear down this Buffalo team. Reed draws the foul. <laughs> Substitution. Byard is whistled for the foul. Kiana Black checks back in for the Bobcats. 
Buffalo with it underneath their own basket. Reed will inbound it. It's deflected. Weatherspoon and Reed saves it. Bacchus in the paint. Can't get anything. Rebound black. And that was tremendous defense there by Lanterns. Did a good job of staying straight up and not biting on the step through move. Weatherspoon puts it in on the give from Brianna Black. Weatherspoon from Columbus is the younger sister of J.D. Weatherspoon. His Toledo Rockets will be playing later tonight. Reed backs it out. Only 10 on the shot clock. Reed gives it up. Starkey, baseline, puts it down. And that's the type of possessions Buffalo will take all afternoon. Wind that shot clock down. Really force Ohio to have to work at the defensive end of the floor. Get it into your best player's hands and let her light it up. Reed has shown the ability to get into the interior of that defense. There's Black. Good defense by the defensive player of the year. Bacchus with the block. Here's Sharkey. Losing, little ball fake, then a three. Puts it in from the ground. What great instincts by Losing. She could have taken that step in and had a really long two-point attempt, but the step back behind the arc, and the three-pointer goes for the sixth man of the year. Block again. There's Bacchus with the block of Weatherspoon. Reed. Stolen away by Black. Deanna Black in transition. Can't finish. Rebound. Put down by Mariah Harris. Nice job of running the floor there for the Bobcats, a transition team. And it's very easy sometimes in the open floor to just watch your teammate go get a layup. But a nice job of chasing that down and following up the miss. Bulls with a one-point lead as we approach ten and a half minutes. First half, glad you joined us. Mac tournament semifinal action. Losing drives this time, blocked. Weatherspoon offensive foul, whistled against Mackenzie Losing. Timeout. We got a timeout on the floor. We got a good one going in the first semifinal. The Bulls lead by the basketball. Down by a point. And it's kind of interesting. We, we touched on it a little bit. Ohio hasn't played since last Saturday. So they've had a, a layoff. And, but that's a good and a bad thing. It, it can be, and you're just not sure how your team's going to respond. A young team that really hasn't been on this stage here at the MAC tournament for several years. And this is something new for these players as well as for Coach Bolden. And, just taking a little while here to find their rhythm. There's a three-pointer knocked Three. down by Mariah Harris. Mariah Harris. You just kind of wonder if that's going to be the shot that will get that lid off the basket as Ohio takes the lead for just a third time this game. Losing off the mark. Bobcats want to run, and they lose it. Out of bounds, it'll be Buffalo basketball. Karen Moss checks in as the point guard for the Bulls. A junior from Troy, Michigan. And this is a good chance for Reed. We spoke so highly of the freshman. Four turnovers for her so far this game. Give her a chance just to sit down and regroup. And that one, another, that one unforced kind of right idea but uh, a little too much adrenaline too high on the uh, kick out and again it's it's kind of a the catch 22 of it you want to take your time and really move the basketball to force ohio to play defense and really expend a lot of energy at that end of the floor but you've got to take care of the basketball and end up with a good shot attempt or at least a chance to score the basketball out of it Lampkins. they swing it stolen Losey comes away with the steal for the hoop. Puts it in. Good in. Great anticipation out of that 2 3 zone on the back side and didn't collapse on the on the dribble drive and out in the lane and made a great play on the basketball. Three point answer for the Lexi Baldwin for the Bobcats. This is what makes Ohio so good. Start out just one for seven from behind the line, but have hit their last two and. 
looking to be settling in a little bit here as we're 12 minutes into the first half. That three, the difference in the game right now is Ohio leads by three. Down to seven on the shot clock. Malone, top of the key, won't go. Good hustle, but it's run down by Lexi Baldwin. Cat yell will push. Good defense by Sharkey to block the shot of Lampton. And there's Losing. She can't see. Difficult angle. I like the attack by Buffalo. But a difficult angle for her to try and finish. Probably dribbling it back out and utilizing that possession would have been a better decision. Black. Little short. Great job to get in there, but came up a little short with the finger roll. And now 0 for 5 here this afternoon to start the game. Losing. Karen Moss, front of the iron. Ohio controls. Three-pointer off the front of the rim by Yell, and it's rebounded by Smith. Timeout, Buffalo. So a timeout on the floor, a three-point lead for Ohio, and all the city has to offer. Visit cleveland.hyatt.com to reserve your room today. And uh, Buffalo, six turnovers in the early going. And I like that timeout there. Just to regroup a little bit, we've gone a couple possessions here without Sharky getting in touch, and especially in the interior, Ohio's doing a good job having outscored Buffalo 8-4, to four, which is a little bit of a surprise on how physical Buffalo can play. There's a step back three, losing off the mark, and Kiana Black grabs it. Not a bad look right there for Losing, but again, no touches in the interior there for Sharky. Good kiss inside of another block. Talk is showing I am the defensive That's player it. of the you year. You go from thinking you've just gotten a lane through yeah, their right. zone defense and Bacchus comes out and but blocks it. Black, a good job of answering, and he push, she pushes the lead to five. Well, it's just a, you can't quit on the play, and you got to play through it, and Black did a nice job of that. Losing, a little short. Sharky can't control. It will be Ohio University basketball. Buffalo foul. That's a foul. That's her second. For Buffalo, number four. Hustle Ohio play here. State. Nice job of attacking the rim. A lot of hands going in for it there, and Losing just smacks down as she tried to come down with the offensive rebound. Picks up her second foul of the half. Ohio with the ball and a five-point lead. Black dribbles through and then throws it into some heavy defense. It's a turnover as the Bulls come away with the steal. Force that one. Away from the ball and Malone whistles for a foul. Turn your head and bodies are flying. Yeah. Well, she did a good job around the floor there, Malone did. But as soon as she tried to turn and seal and get position, she just kind of tossed her. You'll see her try and establish position. Again, which Buffalo wants to do, but you just can't displace while doing it. Bosinger, Black, the three. Back of the iron. Sharkey with the rebound. Good look for Black there. Just unable to find the bottom of the, of the net, but Ohio getting some good looks. Just has not shot the ball that well here to start the game. There's another three-pointer, Joanna, Joanna Smith. Smith. Three points. Big shot, cuts it to two. It is, and she does so many things. We just talked about it earlier in the half. She's already got five rebounds. Bosinger answers from the corner three. for three. For Hannah Bosinger. The sophomore's playing really well off the bench. Nice little spark for the Bobcats. Lead back to five. As we approach the four minute mark. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Reed open for three. Front of the iron. Good rebound by Smith. That's <laughs> it. Her sixth for the game. And ben throws it away, though, trying to get it out of the. I was going to say a hustle play. He'll take that, though. There's a steal. 
Malone comes away with it for the Bulls. Ahead to Smith. Nice move inside. He can't finish. Malone running the floor got the rebound, and it will be Buffalo basketball. Great effort by Buffalo there, running the floor and attacking the rim, staying with the play. Reed will inbound it. Malone, 16 footer, truth. I like this ball. Why not, right? I worry about the physical play inside when you can face up and knock down 15 footers. Draw that defense out. Black, pull up, hits it. And that's where Ohio is going to be effective. Really stretching it out. She had Bacchus out about 20 feet from the paint, or from the rim, excuse me. So get her out of there where she's not able to block shots and get by her off the dribble. Good decision there by the Bobcats. There's a jump shot off the mark by Smith. Rebound by Weatherspoon. Black. Inside. That one won't go. Sharkey with the rebound. Reed. There's Joanna Smith. Puts another three on the board. I tell you what, Mrs. She's really rising to the occasion. We've done a lot of talk about Sharkey and Lowson and Bacchus and everybody else, but Joanna Smith has really done a lot of the little things well. And we had. We had some statistics for the scoring column as well. It's really going to help Buffalo. It will be Ohio basketball. Joanna Smith cuts into the lead with a couple of threes. Ohio leads Buffalo by two. And uh, Ohio University, a, a two-point lead with the basketball. Now a little bit of aggressiveness on the ball, pressing the ball. Baldwin steps up, rolls in the three. Lexi Baldwin. Lexi Baldwin. And that's Ohio's fifth three now of the basketball game, shooting five of thir five of fourteen, excuse me, from behind the arc, and really starting to get some momentum there from long range. Three, baseline, travel, travel. Pivot foot slipped up there, and uh, the turnover gives the ball back to the Bobcats, trying to add to a five-point lead. Getting into dangerous situation, uh, turning the ball over because Ohio is starting to heat up and get into a flow. That's just a, kind of a crucial heat stretch here. Two minutes to go into the half. And Big just, defensive play. I was going to say, just as Ohio is starting to get some momentum, you come down with a, a nice steal and now trying to utilize the possession here. Trying to find a way to get Sharkey the ball in the interior. Pops out. Eight on the shot clock. Baseline. Won't go. Rebound controlled by Lampkins for Ohio. Good defensive pre presence there by Ohio. Very active in the man trying to disrupt and challenge shots. You can see the bulls are extending out. Nice pass inside. Bosinger has it knocked away by Malone. About one too many dribbles there. She could have stopped and pulled up for about a five-footer, but took the extra dribble, and Malone had, had no part of it in the inside. That jumper off the mark by Smith. Lampton in the paint. Nice move. Can't finish. Three-pointer off the rim. Lampton's working the glass. All over the rim, but it won't go. A really bad on inside. Again, Ohio. I like the fact that they're being that aggressive to get to the rim, but they're really giving up a good shot to get a clouded look at the rim as opposed to just maybe stopping and popping from about five feet, six feet out. Smith gives it to Malone. No shot. And Malone calls to the oh, offensive foul. Ohio has done a nice job now. That's the second charge they've taken this game. And as Buffalo's using that physical presence again, nice bounce pass, and Malone just takes one step and a shoulder through her. And nice job defensively there by Ohio. 
Two second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Ohio trying to build on their five point lead. Black. Ten footer. All over the rim. Rebound ripped down. Uh, it won't go. We come to halftime in Ohio. A 27 22 lead. And uh, you got to be impressed. A good look. And it's uh, the Mac Coach of the Year. Bob Bolden all smiles when you when you win so many games. The, the game is simple and fun when you're winning. I'll tell you what, he's one of the most relaxed people you will ever meet, and I think that shows it's the old teams are a reflection of their coach. I think that's why they play so relaxed, and nothing really seems to phase them. Nice movement around the perimeter. Traveling. A traveling violation on Cat Yell. We'll give the ball over to the Bulls. Well, not the first possession to start the half that Ohio was certainly looking for, but that's a good sign for Buffalo. Come out, get a stop, get set in the half court, and chip into this five-point Ohio lead. Reed launches the three. She puts it in. The freshman all smiles. That's it. I tell you what. Big basket from behind the arc and picks up right where she left off from long range. Nice pass inside. And the finish will go down for Lampton. Really impressed with Ohio's interior play. We talked about how physical Buffalo could be, but Ohio's doing a nice job really stretching that defense out and using their athleticism to get by and get to the rim. Smith for three. She puts it in. Little, little nod there. That's her third oh three God. of the game. On three attempts. Three She's saying, I'm still hot. That's keep, it. Keep feeding me. Lampton blocked by Sharkey. It'll still be Bobcat basketball. That's their sixth block shot of the afternoon. Good ball movement. Sharkey does a good job of going straight up, timing it, and sending it to the floor. Lexi Baldwin travels. Wanted to get to the hoop in, uh, in a little bit of a hurry. Really good start here for Buffalo. He's expecting Ohio, well, maybe a little firepower out of, out of Ohio to start that half, but two key turnovers here in the first couple minutes of the second half. There you go, six blocks. Came in averaging four in a year. Interior play of Buffalo has been outstanding. Turnover gives the ball back over to Ohio. Malone couldn't corral the pass. So Cat Yell. There's Black. Kiana Black banks it in. So you what the Deanna easiest Black. way to get over a two for eleven half, put it on the floor and attack the rim gets her sixth point of the afternoon. Quick first step for Kiana Black. Whistle away on Cat Yell was away from the ball. And this is having just hit it, trying to work her way through the ball screen there, but you've got to respect Reed's long game now that she just didn't knock down another three and anticipating the dribble drive. Malone off the iron. Sharky can't get it to go, and Deanna Black heads up floor. Lampkin runs down the air pass. Baldwin to the hoop. Can't finish. Hawkins with the rebound. Good decision there by Sharkin. He tried not get too aggressive on the play. Stood her ground and just forced an errant shot along the baseline. It's a senior, senior decision there. Sometimes you want to bail him out, but did a good job of holding the ground. Hawkins can't get the little half hook to go. Yell, the Baldwin, she puts it in. Let's see, Baldwin. Ohio's so good in the open floor. They really just stretch you out and you slow them down by making shots. 
at the offensive end, but a couple of key misses here allows Ohio to really get out and run, which is what they want to do. Bacchus rims in the 15-footer. Black for three. Black. So, and again, sometimes as a scorer, you just need to get one to go and you know, putting it on the floor and attacking the rim and getting one to go early in this half really loosens her up and she knocks down the long ball. But why not? Her Smith, four, four of four from three point range. Timeout. And we have a timeout on the floor. Sports.com, OhioLottery.com, or the cute box office for details. Ohio with the ball and the three-point lead. Nice rotation. Three-pointer off the iron. Out of bounds. It will be low basketball. And we're under the 16-minute mark. A three-point lead. Knocked back. I was going to say, hustle plays all around, huh? That's right. We told them. Hey. Better strap it up if you're going That's inside. Right. Sit courtside. You better stay awake. Buffalo trying to cut into this three-point lead. Mackenzie Lawson back in. The sixth player of the year for the Mid-American Conference. Good look inside in the basket by Sharky. That's Smith again. Joanna Smith has just been outstanding. We've talked about what she's done shooting the basketball, but a good decision there to put it on the floor and attack and get Sharky a good touch inside. Deanna Black a little out of control, misses, but it will still be Ohio basketball. Kara Lampkin is coming back in. Number five, Kara Lampkin. Jenkins will inbound it for Ohio. Three-pointer, nope. Lexi falls in the rebound and she draws the foul. And these will be our first free throws of the game as she'll go to the line shooting two. Good job of weak side rebounding. Usually a three ball to where it's going to come off and a good job of coming down with it and gathering yourself and ball when the little ball fake goes right back up with it and as you mentioned, heads the free throw line. Makes the first free throw, does Lexi Baldwin. She now has nine points in the game. Back of the iron. Two point lead for Ohio University. Buffalo with the ball. Bacchus. Ball is loose, controlled by the Bobcats. They will run. Good job of getting back by Buffalo. Jenkins, a little bit of a wild shot pulled down by Bacchus. Wilson. Defense has been very good on both sides. It certainly has, and both really staying true to what they wanted to do. Neither team really being too disruptive. And... Down to three on the shot clock. Reed goes jump ball. inside, jump ball, possession, Buffalo. Possession to Buffalo. Nice little hesitation and crossover, but really just nowhere to go, and what could have been a bailout foul opportunity there, but Ohio did a great job of just attacking the basketball, getting their hands on it, and forcing the jump ball. Shot clock violation. Shot clock violation. So it will be Ohio University basketball trying to add to their two-point lead. MAC tournament semifinals. The top seed Ohio, the four seed Buffalo. Lampton, block and Bacchus, owning the paint defensively. I'll tell you what, what is that now? Their seventh block shot, six, seventh block shot of the basketball game? And
back is just so good. Look at that, arm, that wingspan. Good job of staying balanced, using her body to just go straight up and block the basketball. Good discipline there. League's best, best defensive player certainly doing that today. Lampkins. Good pass. Weatherspoon finishes. Great unselfish play there. Sharpie had to decide who to stop, went after the basketball, and a nice little dump pass there. Smith, a little wild pass, and it's taken away by Cat Yelp. And then stolen right back. Bodies are flying everywhere. <laughs> you mean to say this game doesn't mean something? We told you it was the Survivor Series. Only one gets to play in the MAC Tournament Championship game tomorrow afternoon. Oh, great effort. Now, good discipline here by Buffalo just to regroup and fall away from the ball. Ohio Cotton number 14, Cat Yell. Cat Yell. Team second. Jenkins, Jenkins. We've talked about how well Ohio's played here down the stretch. I think over the last probably six weeks, I think they've won by double figures with the exception of one basketball game, and that was against Buffalo, who played to a loss on the road just by eight points. And this one's certainly setting up to be that kind of finish here today. And Ohio does have the largest scoring differential. They win their games by 14 and a half points. And there's a block on the other end as Ohio comes away with it. Ohio giving them a little taste of their medicine here, huh? Lampkins three, rims out. Lowson pushing. Bobcats are back to the pull up. Thought about the three. Good defense. Lampkins gets a piece of it. Jenkins comes away with it. And that's a little bit of a forced shot there. Taking it off the dribble. They really hadn't moved the basketball at all to force the defense to shift. And one on one breakdown and nowhere to go for Lowson. Weatherspoon won't get it to go. It will be Buffalo basketball. Joanna Smith checking back in. Tiana Black for Ohio. Tiana Black also coming back in for Ohio. Battling it out. I get Jack with a little fire there over there on the sideline, fighting for her team. And it will still be Buffalo basketball. Those cross court passes against this. Ohio team because they are so quick all over the place. 39-35, Ohio leading Buffalo. Just over 12 minutes remaining second half. Shot clock down to 10. Sharky carries the three. Well, she thought about it just for a split second to regroup and. The senior knocks down another long ball for the Buffalo Bulls. She now has 10. The lead is just one for Ohio, 39-38. Deanna Black inside, throws it in with the left. What change of direction there in ball control. Nice little kiss off the glass with the left hand. Big time attack to the basket there. 11 and a half left. We get a whistle and a foul on Jenkins. And we are inside of 12 minutes remaining in the second half at 11.30. 41-38. Mac championship game at stake. And Buffalo has never won a Mac tournament championship. Ohio hasn't won one since 1986. Having said that, the Bobcats did go to the NCAA tournament in 1995 as an at-large team. So there's Malone, travels, trying to Traveling. get position and uh, move the pivot foot. So it will be Ohio University basketball. Trying to add to a three-point lead. Good pass inside, Harris gets the basket. Nice job of staying with the play there. The deflection, but Harris just out a little bit more toughness there, snagging the ball and gathering herself to go up for the easy two. 
Joanna Smith for first miss. And a reach in foul. That's <laughs> right. They were out of the gate, and that's a, that's a foul you're willing to take there because Ohio is out to the races with about a three-on-one fast break there. We still have the chance to regroup and defend in the half court now. Mackenzie Losing checking back in. The Mid-American Conference sixth player of the year. Five points in this one. And really a, a, a starter. She had started even games earlier this year, a little bit last season, but... Very comfortable. Some players just play better, and it's it's a good team dynamic to come off the bench. And kudos to her for accepting that role and really thriving. Lexi Baldwin, and they whistled the foul. Buffalo Buffalo. Kristen Sharkey. On Sharkey. The first, the third. Only the third foul on the Bulls, the first on Sharkey. We have only had 12 fouls foul called total this, uh, this game. Baldwin inside, high off the glass. Nice job of sealing the defender Let's on the outside. And had an easy lane to the basket once he was able to come down with the basketball. Seven points, the largest lead of the game for Ohio. Reed draws the foul. Ohio foul to Jenkins. Jenkins. Lonnie Jenkins. Her second, team four. <laughs> Fourth team foul on Ohio. Cat Yell checks in for Jenkins. Nelson double team. Sharky open. And a nice job defensively by Black to knock it away. They're trying to get it into Smith. And a good decision there to post up the smaller. Defender, but Black did a good job of three-pointer off the mark and Losing out and running all alone. She lays it in. Like it's Kevin Love, right? Easy. The outlet pass at the queue. Nice job to a streaming Losing. Traveling by double, double, double dribble, but it's going to give the ball back to Buffalo as Lampkins hit it with both hands there. A couple of forced turnovers here down the stretch. Look at that two hands up over the top and the easy. Runaway two for Losing, out in front of no one. Nice job by Krista Bockets, the MAC Defensive Player of the Year. Has five blocks. We saw that nice out pass as well. Buffalo can cut into this five-point lead. Smith kicks it out. Losing three. Puts it in again. Mackenzie Lowson trying to get that four-point play. That's the second time she's done that. She has, and I'll tell you what, the step back has been effective for her. She had a big one in the first half, and same thing, able to just create enough space to get the shot off and knock it down. Now just a two-point game. We get a whistle and another foul. Number 44, Krista Bacchus. It's on Krista Bacchus. <laughs> second, team four. That's just her Mariah, second, team two, four. Mariah Byers. Mariah Byers checks in. This is Mariah Harris, I believe. It. Deanna Black. Good hands by Smith. Creates the turnover. Bulls can tie it. Even take the lead with a three. Losing to the hoop. Can't finish. Byers comes away with the rebound. Still push. Pat Yell brings it back the other way. Yell, three. No good. Rebound. Smith, strong. Well, one of the points of emphasis here in keys of the game for Ohio was positive possessions. In the last four or five, we've had three turnovers and missed shots. So we only need to buckle down and execute at the offensive end of the floor if we want to try and extend or keep this lead. Joanna Smith working inside. Can't get it to go. Good defense by the Bobcats. Inside of eight minutes. Black. Inside, backs it in again with the left hand. And we've got the perfect view for it. That's the second time she's made that little move with a little fake inside. And 
her body and ball control is just exceptional. And nice touch off the glass for the finish. Losing, Ross. She gets whistled for the offensive foul. 47-43, Ohio leading Buffalo. This is the type of thing that you get in tournament basketball that makes it so much fun. Absolutely, and you look right here at the field goal percentages from Buffalo. 25% last time, last in the MAC, but outstanding from behind the arc. They're shooting 60% from the game and 5 for 5 here in the second half. And shooting themselves right into a chance to potentially play for the MAC championship. If they can cut into this Ohio lead and finish strong with seven minutes to play. Lampkins, good defense by Sharkey. Bacchus comes away with it. Reed pushing. Stephanie Reed. In the land of the trees, draws the foul. Oh no, a timeout. We get a timeout. <laughs> she wanted the foul. She did. She did. That's it. A couple of bulls and double figures. Smith with 12 on four of four from three point range. That one won't go, but Mackenzie Losing will be heading to the line for free throw. She has 10 points. And a nice job of sealing the defense. We saw this earlier at the other end of the floor, but Losing did a good job of getting Lampkins on her backside. And really the easy catch and look at the basket through the contact. She makes the first free throw. The first free throw that the Bulls have taken today. Makes the second as well. Each team has just taken two free throws with 6.50 uh, left here in the second half. Just a two point game. And it's going to be really interesting to see how Ohio plays down the stretch. This is a team that really has been on a tremendous run here throughout the second half of that play and stretched yeah, out the games. They really haven't been, I don't want to say in an important game, but they clinched the match several weeks ago and really knew they were going to be the number one seed. So you just kind of wonder as that clock run, winds and that season is on the line, how they're going to respond. That does a good job taking it inside to push the lead back to four. Losing good give to Marcus and she puts it in. Tremendous pass. Defense collapsed on the ball handler as Losing put it on the floor and throw it up high to Bacchus. His wingspan and athleticism able to go get it and finish. Good possession there for Buffalo. Cuts the lead back down to two. Gotta love tournament pass. I'll tell you what. Three pointer fired off the rim. Losing runs it down. As well as Buffalo has played here to keep themselves in the basketball game, Ohio still has the lead. Showing why they're the number one team in the conference. Smith loses it to Kate, or Kat Yell and then fouls her. One of those, oh, I want the ball back guys that's done that. Six, six team foul. And you know what, sometimes you, you, you have fouls that far away from the basket and it'll drive you nuts. But against this Ohio team that really likes to get out Alexis and run, Malone, you don't sure. mind those fouls because it slows them down and forces them to reset and takes away their transition game. And now you're forcing them to work in the half court. Not a bad foul at all by Buffalo. Malone checks in for Sharkey. Lampton. Extra pass goes to Byer. She puts in the three. Tremendous ball movement there by Ohio. Lincoln's did a good job of putting it on the floor. Nowhere to go. Skip pass. Then the extra pass. And the lead back up to five. And we're inside five minutes remaining second half. Lotion inside. Won't go. Yell. Ball on the floor, arms everywhere, and it comes away with Cat Yell. Triple team. And a timeout by Ohio. Good timeout. They were going to get whistled for a backcourt violation at a minimum. I was going to say, we almost had 12 players there on the floor <laughs> if we count both coaches. Bold mouth pressure, which we saw them do in their uh, 
round three great game against Western Michigan in sports. Yeah, and just a little change of pace, Force Ohio. To play a little bit out of control, a little bit quick. Throw off the rhythm of the offense. That's just it. And Shot. they come out with man to man out of it too. Shot clock down to five. There, fired, and it's a shot clock violation. And that's exactly what they want to do is with Buffalo. You really came out out of that long break there, extended pressure, went man, forced up an errant shot, and now it's your basketball headed the other way. Trying to cut into a five point Ohio lead. Lowson, the runner puts it in. Nice job there. Byer got stuck chasing around the curl cut there. And Lowson, good body control, and drops it in. Yell gets it to Black, and they break the pressure. But again, they're not getting into their offense. The shot clock's already at 15 before they're getting into any type of set. And that's not a bad thing now that we're at this point of the game. We've only got three and a half minutes to play. Possessions are going to be extremely crucial. And they just turned it over. Again, another turnover down the stretch here. Good defense by the Bulls on those two possessions where they extend it out. They get the shot clock violation, now the turnover. Active hands is Ohio's just kind of dribbling around, not really attacking the basket, but playing a little bit east to west. And Smith, the three, her first miss from long range. Losey cleans it up. Malone puts it in. I tell you what, attacking the glass is a key to the game for Buffalo. Losey with a key offensive rebound there, and Malone knocks it down. Fired. Three ball to push the lead back the floor. Big shot by Huge Mariah shot. Byer. And this is why Ohio is number one in the conference. Ohio. Good boys. Get it out. Well, I'd ask who's going to step up uh, a few minutes ago. The answer so far has been Mariah Baird, but still almost three minutes left. Let's see who else wants the big stage. A lot of basketball still to be played here with two and a half, just over two and a half to play. And season on the lines with both the one and four seed here in Cleveland. Foul whistled against Lexi Baldwin. Ohio foul to Chad Lexi Baldwin. Her first deep foul for six. Six team foul. Nice job by Lowson. She's done such a good job of getting the defense on the back side of her. Baldwin trying to get through it. Lowson picks up the foul. Good job by Hired to knock the ball loose, and then Black gets fouled. One and one is that is the seventh team foul against Buffalo. Ohio will also be over the limit with their next foul. Buffalo foul number 35 to Betsy Losing, her fourth team foul. That foul's on Losing, and that's her fourth. 25, Kristen Sharkey for Buffalo. Kristen Sharkey checks back in. Got a black at the line. One and one. One and one situation for Kiana Black. Iron won't go, rebound Malone. As good of a team from the field as Ohio has been all year. Third in the league at 41%, struggling from the free throw line. Just one for three today, and we're 11th in the league coming in. And big defensive possession there to get the ball back. Lexi Baldwin got a hand on the pass, knocked it over to the Bobcats, the turnover. Allows Ohio to try to add to this four-point lead again. Inside of two minutes. Twelve on the shot clock. Inside. And back out. Lampkin draws iron run down by Stephanie Reed, the freshman. Possession's getting critical both ways. Buffalo really needs a hoop as we approach the minute 30 mark down four. Two possession basketball game, a minute and a half to play. That's absolutely true. Reed can't get it to roll in. Malone will clean up and draw the foul. Won't get the ball to go, though. I'll tell you what. Nice job of sticking with the play here. Malone comes down with the eighth offensive rebound for Buffalo. Reed with a good job, little soft touch, scoop Let's shot. Malone, Malone, almost the and one. Is that 
basketball hung on the rim, but a chance to cut the lead to two. Puts the first one down. So it's a three-point lead. Alexis Malone makes it a two-point game. Hang on. Winner heads to the MAC Tournament Championship game. Buffalo has never won a MAC Tournament Championship. 1986, the last time Ohio won a MAC Tournament title. One of them will earn the right to play for it tomorrow afternoon. Baldwin, the drive, puts it in. Spread the defense out, little pump fake, put it on the floor, got by Sharkey to the lane and finishes. Big time play for Baldwin. Inside Malone. Loses it. But it will still be Buffalo basketball. No, they say it is off Malone now. I was going to say the wrong direction, but he knew who it went off of. And Ohio with the chance to build on this four point lead. Again, no need to foul just yet. You're trying for the turnover and the trap situation. But I wouldn't be scared to foul again. The one no. for three from the line. Jump ball. Jump ball. Possession stays with Ohio. Possession to Ohio. And it's a two possession game. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Splitting that. So I think what they're going to do, you, you aggressively go after the initial pass if you can't get it. That's just it. And they're yelling, they want to foul early here. They're going to send Yeah, 67% free throw shooter on the year. She's been there 90 times and none bigger than this. Well, this is why when you look at free throw shooting, you say how important it is. No problem. Okay, no. <laughs> I'll tell you, that we're over here talking like it's a big that. deal. And she, she, without hesitation, took a deep breath and set, fired, and drilled it. Perfect. And that's why sometimes free throw shooting can be misleading. The stat you want to look at is how you shoot them in the final two minutes. And I'll tell you what, keys to the game for Ohio play with poise, none bigger than that. Took a deep breath and drilled them both. There's another foul. And a good look for Sharky. Yeah. They've been on fire. Like we said, 9 of 16 before that attempt. 56% from behind the arc. Unable to connect there. And Ohio in the driver's seat with just 30 seconds to play. The number one seed. <laughs> Trying to advance. Just 30.5 seconds separates them from that honor. And Kiera Lampkins will be at the line shooting free throws. Well, still just a two-possession game if we're talking about being able to knock down the three ball, but a chance for Lampkins to extend that lead here if she's able to connect. Still just one and one. Only the ninth team foul on the Bulls, so there's a one and one. Iron, and it comes off. Still a two possession game. Losing. Long three. All kinds of iron. And a loose ball foul there, going for the rebound. Ohio foul to Send the to the line. Got a flat. There's a placement the on the box DK. out there. Position by Sharkey is what created that. And a chance for Kristen Buffalo to Sharkey score with the clock stop. Sharkey makes the big free throw. Cuts it to five. One shot. Both of them. 30 seconds he now has 11. 30 second timeout for the Bulls to set up 
that full court pressure affected in this semifinal game. That's it, Buffalo. We said that coming in. They're a physical team. They were the number one. They were picked number one in the conference headed in and the preseason. And they get a whistle on Reed. Buffalo foul on Mariah Byer. The 10th team foul. So it's a two shot foul now because it's the 10th team foul. Double bonus for the Ohio Bobcats. And even if she hits them both, we're still just talking about a two possession game. But you've got to go quickly here for if you're Buffalo. Of confidence here, not sending anybody in there in the white jersey to try and pick up a silly foul, huh? Exactly. You can just assume she's going to nail them both. That one rims back in. Almost came out, and thought better of it. It went back down. Jasmine Weatherspoon. Jasmine Weatherspoon checks in. Mackenzie Losing will as well. Both teams subbing a little bit of offense, defense here, and Buffalo has got to go quickly. Reed will pick it up. Smith. Won't go down. Malone runs it down. Joanna Smith. Three off the mark again. A foul against Ohio's Cat Yell will send Malone to the line. Right now, only 5.8 seconds remain. And a couple of good looks there for Buffalo down the stretch. Joanna Smith, who was 4 of 5 from 3 point land, unable to connect on two good looks. And Buffalo, it appears, with just 5 seconds to go, may come up short. But what an effort by the Bulls here this afternoon. Malone misses. Out of bounds, Ohio basketball. Bacchus checks back in, as does Lexi Baldwin. What a finish. Both teams really grinding it out, and it's going to come down to who's able to make plays, and Ohio was just able to connect down the stretch. They get the ball inbounds, and they get a couple of seconds off the clock before getting fouled. Two more Four free throws coming. Four, and what a by that young lady there, Joanna. Smith had an exceptional basketball game. Buffalo really gave them all they could handle. As we said, did a great job of shooting the basketball, but going to come up just short here as Ohio is able to seal this one off at the free throw line. She fouls out 12 points and 8 rebounds for Joanna Smith. And Fired saying, I don't know where you guys are getting your information about our free throw shooting. We're knocking them down here late in the game. I'll tell you, well, you know what? At this point of the year, you can almost throw the stat sheets out the window. You see, I mean, who's going to step up and make plays with the season on the line? And well, they had a couple with the, with the Bobcats. Losing three off the backboard. The top seed, Ohio University, survives and advances as they will earn the right to play for the